Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to another episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Today, we're going to be starting a round robin competition. We're going to be taking the peasants against everything except these bottom ones. And, uh, like, we, we did the, the other tournament, but we didn't really find out, like, which was the best of the best. So we're going to start it today. We're going to take the peasants versus everything in here. we got the boxers, farmers, barbarians. We're just going to see, like, who the best unit is in the game that way. Or who who is the best against... Or are the peasants better than anything else? I guess that's the best way to put it. My guess is that most of these are just going to die. Uh, the shieldmen, maybe the peasants can win. The archers are definitely not. Um, I, let's just see what happens here. So I've got, first up, i got peasants versus boxers. And there's 30 of each. And they're, they're spread out pretty much even. Uh, one block in between each dude. I have a feeling that the boxers are going to do very, very well against this little peasant army. And I don't know. Uh, do my testing, yeah, that, that's pretty nasty. In my testing, I did 20 versus 20, and the peasants won. So we're going to do best out of three like we've always done, and we'll see what happens here. I just like doing 30, 30 versus 30. I could go up to like 50, maybe, but I don't really want to place all those units, and I feel like this is a pretty good um, estimation. Look at this, and now, <laughs> look how many are left. How does that work? Like, the the boxers totally dominate. Oh, they're hugging each other. That's not good. Oh, they're holding hands. That's so cute. Watch this. Oh, yeah, he's dead. And now we got one. 4v1 here. Red victory. Okay, so it is going to come down to three. That's crazy. Here it comes. Here it comes. The final battle of the peasants. I can't believe that the peasants actually won that. Let's see what happens. This line is crazy, too. They're just mashing each other. Yeah, it looks like the boxers have a pretty big upper hand on this time. That's so weird. Like, they won full out before. So, boxers are better than peasants in two or three situations. Okay, so next up, oh, we have the, the farmers versus the peasants. And it looks like the farmers dropped all their spears. Or their, their pitchforks, I guess would be the right way to put it. Maybe we need to spread these guys out a little bit more. Uh, we might need to do that so they can actually use their weapons. Ooh, I don't think it matters, though. I don't think it matters at all. Look at that guy. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, we're gonna try to... They're a little bit more spread out. There's three blocks in between them, so these guys wouldn't drop all their, their pitchforks. Now let's just see how the battle unfolds. Um, I have a feeling that these pitchforks are gonna totally dominate the lives of the peasants. And they did. Oh, that is... That's really harsh. That is really, really harsh. But for science purposes, a third time, or a second time, I guess, must be completed. Should we look from the top-down view? I kind of like doing this every once in a while. Yep, this is... It's just so crazy how they, they haven't even really killed any. The peasants are just getting annihilated. I wouldn't say decimated, but you guys ripped me apart last time I said that. So last time, uh, the farmers beat the peasants, so let's try the peasants against the barbarians. This should be very, very straightforward. The peasants have no chance against the barbarians, is my guess. I should probably watch from this angle, shouldn't I? Oh my. This is a total beatdown. <laughs> well, I mean, what do you expect? The peasants are just a bunch of little turd nuggets. They don't do anything real. Next up, we'll try the same thing again for the second out of three. We're going to go from this side this time and watch him just get smacked by the turkey drumsticks. Ow. That first that first clubbing. Ooh, they're climbing over each other. They're so excited to beat him up. Why do you stop jumping? Here, this guy, he's... Ow. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Uh, so, man. So the peasants beat the boxers, right? Peasants beat the boxers? The boxers beat the peasants. The boxers one time there. Uh, and now we go against the poachers. Next up is the peasants. Peasants and the poachers. Uh, this is going to be kind of interesting. Uh, especially since the, the peasants have to run all the way over here. I think there's going to be a lot of friendly fire within the uh, the poacher rank here. I think so. Yeah, that's definitely a lot of friendly fire. The problem is, like, do we readjust everything? Oh, man. Do you see how many arrows are hitting him? How is he still alive? Do we readjust every time for each different unit, or do we just keep the same setup? I'm, I'm thinking the setup's going to be the same, but if I... I know if I... Let's just try this. We're going to offset by one, and I don't think this is going to change much, but we'll just do it this way. It's so hard to decide, like, what are we going to do? I have a feeling that it won't matter too much. Um, this back row is still going to do some killing. 
Yeah, it don't matter. <laughs> right through the eyeball. No, maybe it did change it. That is weird. But they're still, I mean, they're still gonna die. Oh, <laughs> he's grabbing his side. Oh, maybe not. There's three left. Oh, where did this guy come from? Blue victory, so that one offset did the trick. I guess we'll test on the third time here. There's just a lot of arrows going in. And not much friendly, friendly fire. I was gonna say family fire. Oh yeah, look at that. Half of them died of friendly fire. Look at these guys are just pin cushions. Huh. So without friendly fire, I don't know what to think. Ow. Well, see this one's a lot different. That is so strange. I guess we'll just stay with the peasants beating the poachers. Kinda seems right to me. And now this one is the peasants versus the footmen. And I don't think there's there's like not one chance that the peasants are gonna be able to beat the mighty footmen. Ooh. Oh my word! This is the that was the fastest. And there's only the what four? Three dead? <laughs> That's crazy. We'll try it again, just for science purposes. These guys can't even walk. They've had way too much going on to date. And they ran marathons, that's why they're doing that. That's why they can't hold swords anymore. Wow! <laughs> that is ridiculous! That is straight up ridiculous. Okay, and another round. Peasants versus Spearmen. Uh, Spearmen's gonna be interesting. And I did group them, or I did space them out a little bit. Uh, a little bit farther. I don't know how this is gonna go. I have a feeling that the peasants have a chance. Maybe not. Maybe so! Oh wow, did you see that, that back step? Oh, they're gonna do it! Maybe not. It's close, it is so close. It's so close, turn around! Up backwards, smack him. Nice. Here's the last fight. Oh, he dodged it! He did it! Red victory! I figured he could do it. We will try a second time. Come on in, people. It's the peasants versus everything challenge. Ow! <laughs> I like how he just gets lifted up. They're dying already. Hey! Dude's trying to float. This one's, that one's even better. Wow! So the spearmen are really bad on their own. Okay, 30 and 30, we got shields this time. This is gonna be kind of a weird fight. I have a feeling that the peasants aren't gonna be able to do this. Um, like a really good feeling because these guys have so much health and well they don't do any damage either though that's the problem if they can get to the back side of the shield I think they'll be fine if not they're just kind of get swarmed here like him watch him see they, they're, they get behind it and then they they pull them away from the shield and it's all good in the neighborhood oh what are they <laughs> it was, you see him bounce back like he was hugging it those guys, see, that's that's what they need to do is just run up behind them, sneak up on them, and pop them. Just like that. He's got a, he's going for a triple. Go to triple. Yes! Woo! Threw that shield around. Wow. So it's three versus four. They're surrounded. The peasants are surrounded. There's two left. Get them. There's two. Two and two. One. See, they can reach around. Look at them reach around. Beat him up! I told you to beat him. Oh, you killed your friend! You, there. You had to kill his friend so he could kill the enemy. <laughs> Peasants are decent. And one more attempt. I guess the next ones after these are the the uh, range classes. The uh, archers and the shield, or uh, poachers. Musketmen. There, that's the word I'm looking for. So I don't see. This is hard to see too because these shields are up. Okay. Oh, that was a good one. I like following like one guy, but then he's the one who just decides he doesn't do anything in life. He just bounces around like when I did job shadowing in college. It's like, let's go find the one guy who does absolutely nothing all day long and then follow him. What a worthless week in my life. Hey, hey nice hit. Hug around time. Look at that. They're hugging each other. How many are left? There's one versus like six guys. He, oh, they got him. They pinched his head in between. How many are left? Four, five, six, seven look like? So it is best out of three. So we must do it a third time. 
I guess we'll stay right here and just watch. We'll watch from the peasant side of the army today. Um, this is not looking good. If they can breach through the backside, it's fine. Go watch this. Yes! Nice headbutt. They keep going for the, the front of the shield. I like how they re re reach around, though. Come on, kill him. There, he's behind it. He made it behind. Attack. Oh, no, you switched targets. Oh, he's down. Nice. There we go. We have two. Oh, he didn't die yet. He didn't die. Okay, he's down now. We have we have one. Oh, blue victory. Hmm. Okay, this is going to be really, 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 really nasty messy. These are archers. Those are peasants. And, like, I mean, obviously they're peasants. Oh, they started. They fired right away. First round died. I don't think that's too big of a problem, though. It shouldn't be. <laughs> so they, they aren't even getting here. They didn't even make it. Oh, they do punch a couple. Punched a couple. Are they? Can they do it? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Maybe. What? Kill it. Nice. Turn around. Flip around. And fire. Oh, you missed. No, you hit him. Hit him. <laughs> Without friendly fire, that would have been totally different. I still don't think it'll be too big of a problem here. If not, we'll have to move the archers, because there's no way that these guys should win. I mean, look at how many are dead already. <laughs> I, it's kind of funny. That third row is what's doing it right now. And there's three left. Yeah. <laughs> they only got three halfway there. Okay, let's try another failed attempt at setting up archers. It's the same system, <laughs> but they just kill each other. I find that hilarious. There's an arrow in the back. They used to shoot over top, but they don't anymore. That guy in the front, he has no hope to survive. Good, and one left. Throw your bow at him. Get somebody to throw your bow. Good job. So I don't know how this setup is going to work with musket men. I think it should be okay, because they aim a little bit better. Ooh, that's nasty. Yeah, that's better. Wow. Uh, ooh. Wow, that's really, really solid. There's only three left. Can they make it? No, there is no chance to survival. Wow. Musket men did better than the archers, it looked like. <gasps> that is crazy, these little musket cannons. Oh, then more died this time. A lot of friendly fire going on this time. Not much last time. It's pretty bad when the main injuries are caused by friendly fire. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Blue team's gonna win. This shouldn't be. Oh, nice kill. Wow. I'm not so sure what to think. So they have to aim. They're getting closer, and now they're firing. That front row all went down. Not too many red guys died either. That was better. Except we lost a bunch more in the, the first volley again. E. Yeah. Hey, he's carrying a gun. Shoot. Okay, I tried one more thing. I just want to see. I, I made him farther back. And I, I put him in two rows rather than three. I feel like this is a better a better test. Since they aren't killing each other. I mean, but I mean they still did. <laughs> a bunch of ding dongs. Maybe not. Hmm. We'll do we'll do another two tests on this, or another one, maybe two, just to see. So I have a feeling it's pretty close. If the peasants make it there, it'd be close. Cause these guys aim, they take a long time to aim and fire. See, that's like the max range. Ooh, that was a really, really, really good volley. Wow. Okay, so musket men are better than peasants. Surprise. I mean, it doesn't surprise you, shoot, does it? Okay, and I wanted to try five of the big guys against all these guys, too. Uh, five of the big units. <laughs> Just to see what happens. It looks like the chariots are victorious. Do we need to test that again? Yes, we do, because it looks really, really neat. Watch them go through that. Watch this. Watch this trick. You want to see what it looks like when a horsey's got a red guy plastered on him? There it is. <laughs> oh, that's great. We only had three alive. Ooh. Good work. Hey. Is anyone going to die? There it is. That was a good shot. 
So chariots are better. Five chariots. I feel like that's a good combo. There's five cannons, mainly because I just want to see the cannonballs fly through a bunch of these guys. Here it comes. Oh, they're moving up a little bit. Watch this. Watch this. That wasn't too good. Only took one out. Huh. Ooh, that was a good hit. Okay, this would be nice. Hit it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh, that was a good shot. <laughs> I, this, I love this. I like how they all line up directly. Ooh! Oh, that was friendly fire. Uh-oh. Two left. Two left. I think this back one's gonna kill it. Oh, he's gonna kill his buddy. Nice. Oh, he's not dead. Take him out, dude. <laughs> that was perfect. Here we go. Here's the catapults. I have a feeling these big balls are going to roll through them. Oof. Does it kill them, though? That's the question. Do they get back up? Can he make it? Can he waddle his way over? Nope. That's a definite nope. I like the catapults. I feel like they just got a buff, too. And ballistas. Ballistas are going to be quite nasty if they hit. They have a tendency to overfire and stuff sometimes. Or underfire. Uh, that's definitely not over or under firing. Ooh, that was nice. Oh, that guy took it in the crotch. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's down. And just for the funsies, here comes another one. I mean, we, we have to test it twice, just for the science purposes, even though the ballistas have no chance of losing unless they hit each other. Oh, that was a good shot. Maybe. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That guy doesn't know where to go with himself. Okay, we got one left. Two guys here. Nice. Elbow. And finally, the Watchas. Oh, the Watchas have a dude on top of them now. What? What? <laughs> is, there, is there any chance of the peasants surviving? Oh, they did it! They're gonna get up and go. <laughs> oh, I feel like that's kind of cheating. Since when did the Watchas get a, a guy on top of them? I don't remember that update. Okay, so the deal is the watches die after they lose all their points, or their all of their stuff, and they undershoot just a little bit, and the guys fall down. So there's three left again, and there's you survive. Wow. Well, I I don't know what to call that. I technically, technically the peasants won because there's still peasants alive, and there's no watches left. So you guys are gonna have to call that. Uh, who is the winner of this fight? Are the peasants the winners, or did the watches win because they killed 30 of them? 30, yep, 27. Ha! Huh. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, one versus everything competition. If you did, let me know. And keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time.